Hey guys, welcome back to Nerdy Pastime. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Mythic Legion's Lord Bardrick. He came out in the Lithia wave, and um, I've been kind of catching up a little bit, picking up some of that last, that older wave, hoping to get as many as I can before the prices kind of shoot up. I was lucky to get him at a, at a really good price. And uh, this figure is really cool. Uh, I love the details. Um, the paint apps on this thing is really great. So let's take him off this stand and uh, let's take a little closer look at him. All right, let's take a look at a few of his details real quick and uh, we'll look at some of these paint apps that it's got going on. So I, I really like the hair braiding paint apps on his hair. And his hair sculpt is just amazing. These uh, belts, this belt uh, system here is really great because here you can probably see it. It's got a little loop. You can put the sword in there. You can put the quill and we'll show more about the accessories here shortly. But uh, just the amount of detail in the paint because you've got like these rivets painted and then you've got a nice black wash over all this leather work which is just phenomenal um he's probably one of the most detailed well i won't say one of the most because i've got a couple of other figures now that have just as much detail in in them as this one does um but like the belt buckle you got this neck wrap up here you got two different color um two different tones of um brown and there's a little bit under here. This piece here is removable. Um, and then over here, you can see some of the scratching and some of the dents in his armor. And then this head sculpt with all of these different horns and decoration. I mean, just very detailed. I mean, just so much detail. And this is one of the, you know, and I say this probably every video, but this is why I love my mythics so much is I don't feel like any other toy line puts this much detail work from paint apps to sculpt in any of their figures. And this is just, it's just amazing to hold them in their, just hold these in your hand and mess around with them. The detail is just awesome. So let's take a look at his articulation and uh, then we'll look at some of his accessories. So this will raise up and his arm will raise up about right there. It's not the best. Um, and then he has a pretty decent bend in his arm here in his elbow. Um, almost 90. It's a little better than some of the previous figures that I've played with. So he's got a pretty good bend, elbow bend right there. Uh, swivel. There's wrist swivel, and then there's swivel here, and then you got a hinge in his arm, in his hand, I mean. And then he kicks out about that far out, and then he bends at the knee pretty far, surprisingly. They got a nice cut right here on the calf this time on this figure, so that's pretty nice. And then there's twist at the uh, shin a nice uh hinge at the foot and then of course you got a little bit of rocker as well a torso forgot about it you got your normal twist got a little bit of a bend not much pretty good back um on this figure due to the hair sculpt his head is pretty it's it's not it's not easy you can get a little down but you are not going back at all and even a little bit of twist here isn't too bad but this figure's hair really the back hair gets in the way these are pretty flexible so they're not bad but this back here it, it's going to hinder his head movement quite a bit all right let's take a look at his accessories and see what Lord Bardrick comes with. Comes with this amazing sword. Very nice, big sword. 
pretty well painted. We got two tone colors down here, a little bronze, a little gold, and then your silver on the on the blade. And then he comes with an axe, which we've seen this axe multiple times in other figures. Um, but this one's really well painted. Very shiny, uh, metallic, and gold on your handle. So very, 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 very nice. I like it. I like that one. He may be displayed with that one, matter of fact. He comes with a bow, which is nice gold. Not much more detail on that, but just a nice, really shiny gold. Comes with one little arrow that you can have him hold if you would like to. And then he comes with a quiver that you can attach. Again, there's some really nice detail painted on these um, with the gold trim all the way around. I mean, really nice little added detail right there that didn't need to be detailed, but man, it just really brings it to life. And then he comes with two fists. So you can swap them out. So if you want him punching somebody, you uh, can have him. And these fists are hinged. Uh, looks like an up and down type hinge. And um, then he also comes with his pauldrons, which come on him. But again, these are removable. So that's what he looks like without his uh, shoulder pauldrons on. And um, this figure is a really nice base. I think you could do a lot of good uh, customizing with this here and um, with these legs even. Here's Lord Bardrick with a couple of other mythics. And um, I, I'm very happy with this guy. Um, is he my favorite? No. But from uh, detail and painting and sculpt and I mean, he's a great addition. And I'm very excited to have him in my collection. I'm glad I got him before he really his he, before his price started to spike up a little more. Um, I got him at pretty much retail. Um, I found him, I believe I found this one on e eBay, and I got it for retail. And uh, I was pretty shocked because most places I've seen him, he's been about sixty-five bucks. So. If you can find him at a good price, I would highly recommend to buy him. If you're into Mythics, he's a great pickup to have. He's a, he's a great looking figure. And as you can see, he would look great with a diorama with multiple figures. With that said, I think we're gonna wind this one up today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down there. And remember, enjoy your pastimes. We'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.